Hello everybody, this is Dreaming of Year to conclude round one for the Kakashin Clash tournament. And we have four matches to go, so let's not jibber jabber about it, let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Okay then, in the red corner, we have a Lightning Dinosaur, surprisingly. We have a Danaceratops. Lightning Dinosaurs haven't really featured in my mini tournaments recently, although we did have Lightning Assault a few months ago to make up for it. But here we have the Adanaceratops. The only lightning dinosaur in this franchise, not from North America. However, it's going to be tough for it, because in the blue corner, as you can see, we have Eocarcaria. Not the Omega Armored one, just the vanilla one. Well, it got to the finale of the African Assault Tournament. Can it do well again? <laughs> oh, we start with a tie. I think this Adanaceratops is tie defense type. Ooh, and it's getting the first hit. Boosh. Elemental power coming in there. Ooh, Eucarcaria striking back with a stun dash. Light recovery to come as well. Shippy shippy shap shap. Boosh. Yes, I know, I don't have Flare Sword on this Eucarcaria. Sue me, okay? It's a crime against humanity, but... Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, here comes another stun dash. Eucarcaria turning it around after a slow start. And I think... Well, nope, for a tie, we'll probably end this round. Ooh, a Danaceratops, so not going down yet. Getting a hit. Elemental power coming in there, but... Oh, it'll help if it gets a crit. If it gets a crit, it might be enough to kill Eocark area. Ooh, another hit. A lightning axe might do it. Okay, he didn't get off. But, Udanaceratops not going down yet. Okay, now he's going down. <laughs> Third time's the charm from Eogark area. Finally lands a crit and takes a 1-0 lead. But, that's the held on bit in the end. Eogark area... A, a good match. That was a good matchup so far. And let's hope it continues that in round two. Right, round two. Can a, Dan can a Danaceratops get, get the equaliser this time? Or will Eocarcaria get the job done? Ooh, a Danaceratops starting with a crit. It's a lightning spear. Eocarcaria getting skewered. Electrically. Decent damage, decent start from the Danaceratops. And it's getting better. Another hit coming in. Elemental power maxing itself out. One hit should equal up, should do it for a Danaceratops. Ooh, but not anymore now. That light recovery could be crucial. Okay, maybe a crit. A crit will probably still kill it. Maybe even rock with the elemental power buff. Okay, yeah, it's dead. <laughs> a Danaceratops was threatening it in round one, and he's even the score. Eocarcaria didn't really put up a fight there. Got the crit now is it. <laughs> well, we saw Alberta Ceratops knock out the Omega Eocarcaria. Can Udana Ceratops knock out the regular one? Let's find out in our concluding round between these two. Right, the concluding round between these two. 
Can a Dennis, can a Dennis Eratops pull off the win? Or will Eocarcaria hold on to make it to the quarterfinals? Oh, I got sick. Hooray, Darak! I tell you what, Eocarcaria has been a disappointment in this match so far. It's hardly put up a fight. It barely won the first round. So it's no surprise that Adanaceratops won round two. And look at that tight defense effect going into play there. And oh my god, it's a crit. Okay. <laughs> Adanaceratops might actually pull this off. Okay, yeah, one hit should do it. And we haven't seen a lightning axe at all. And I says count. No, it's lightning axe. I know it's lightning axe because. Well, you'll know it's lightning axe because I put the move in the at the beginning. It's lightning axe because lightning axe debuted during the Kakushin era, so I have to use it. Oh, there it is! Eocarcaria! Gone! Completely! Wow, that's Omega Eocarcaria gone. Regular Eocarcaria has joined it. Both suffering de defeats at the hands of lightning dinosaurs. And it is a Dinoceratops that advances to the next round. Well, that's a great way to start this video, isn't it? Upset right off the bat. Right, will we have another upset in this next matchup? Let's find out. Right then, in the red corner, we have got the poisonous pest, the Piantnitsky Saurus. Could be one to watch in this tournament. And well, we saw a Dinoceratops win earlier. Will Piantnitsky Saurus join it in the quarterfinals? It will be tough, though, because in the blue corner, we got the orange local hero, it's Polar Canvas. <laughs> Uh, Polar Canvas, I can't remember how it fared in the Earth Tournament, in all honesty. I think it lost the first match. But we'll see what it can do in this matchup. I wouldn't say there's a clear favourite here. I think this we're in for a great match. Ooh, we start with a tie. Ooh, Polar Canvas landing the first blow there. What is this? It's a Giga Rock Hammer! Another move that debuted during the Kakushin era. Ben. <laughs> okay, yeah, there goes, there goes Pianitsky Saurus. Quicker than you could say, Polar Canvas. Polar Canvas takes the lead. Oh, we've got to let the uh, move play out first. Well, that was quick and easy for Polar Canvas, wasn't it? Pianitsky Saurus didn't really get going there. But it's still time for him to turn this around. So let's move on to round two. Ooh, we're in the desert field. Will that favour the Polar Canvas? After all, this will be the field where Earth Dinosaurs have the upper hand. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh I love throwing hints. <laughs> Well, Pianitsky saw us land in the first blow this time. Not much damage dealt, all its power is in the crit. Ooh, Polar Canthus landing another blow. And oh my god, how much damage was that? Well, that's that's reform type for you folks. Yes, this P Polar Canthus is reform type. Could rip Pianitsky saw us a new one. Mm, but so can this crit. It's a wall smash. Boosh. And... Bloop. Yeah, look at that. Way more damage this time. A Jet Shuriken may have finished that match. Oh, it's a tie. No Sonic Blast, though. Ties favour the Pian. Oh, the Pian is... Yeah, yeah, it's dead. It's dead. You, you heard that sound then, that means the reform type activated, and it's a crit, so it's definitely dead. <laughs> wow, Polar Canvas has been really good there. Yep, down goes Pianitsky Saurus. Polar Canvas making better use of his hits. 
Well, that was comfortable, wasn't it? And the poisonous pest bows out. Right then, let's move on to our third match of this session, shall we? Right then, in the red corner, we have got one of the very last grass dinosaurs to appear in Dinosaur King, the Edmontosaurus, which is actually a surprise given how well known Edmontosaurus is. But the fact that it was one of the very last dinosaurs to be added to the game is a big surprise. It's one of those dinosaurs you think, okay, it could be a gold, but no. Nope. Anyway, in the blue corner, a less, a lesser known dinosaur, the Jurassic World fake hybrid, the Indosuchus. Indosuchus not to be trifled with. I think I did say in the uh, in, in the announcement video that Indosuchus is actually in a really good bracket. It's in a bracket with its like all the grass dinosaurs. <laughs> And if it wins this matchup, the next matchup it faces will be against a grass dinosaur. Because the final match in this video is features two grass dinosaurs. But type advantage means squat if you can't take advantage of it. Ooh, Ed Eddie getting the first hit there. A full whip to come. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. A strong start from Edmontosaurus. Oh my god, oh, hang on, how many? Sorry, I was just looking at my wind, just glimpsing at my window. It's like, I can see like four birds of prey at the mountain. <laughs> to keep hearing them. It's like maybe four of the buggers. Yeah, we get a lot of bird of prey with where I live. Which is cool. If you're a bird watcher, you like it. But I'm not a bird watcher. Well, this is a surprising start. Okay, uh, Indosuchus is gone. Edmontosaurus landing a two platoon. Oh no, it's egg attack. <laughs> God, I, didn't, I pick these moves and I don't even know what they are. Indosuchus left with egg on his face. And Edmontosaurus takes a surprising 1 0 lead. Are we in for an upset? Well, Indosuchus misses opportunity. Let's find out. In round two. Okie oh, dokie then. Round two. Can Edmontosaurus continue its impressive start in this match? Or will the Indosuchus finally make that type advantage pay? And yes, I said got the characters wrong. <laughs> oh wow, look at this! Edmontosaurus getting the first hit. The type advantage should spear Indosuchus major damage. But it still takes some damage. Okay, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I've seen worse. But everything's going in Montasaurus' way thus far. And I have to say, if Indosuchus loses this match, it's an opportunity gone. Okay, here we go. Indosuchus finally landing a blow. It's a power drain. Well, will Indosuchus finally show up in this match? Ooh, he went for that big Mayfly, that, which would have ended this round. But Montosaurus didn't let him get it. Okay, yeah, he's equalized. He's getting the Mayfly this time, and this will all but certainly kill Edmontosaurus. Well, Indosuchus evening things up, making the Titan advantage pay this time. Can he can he complete his comeback in this deciding round? Or does Edmontosaurus still have some fight left in it? Right, here we go. On to the deciding round of this matchup. Will Indosuchus get the job done? Or can Edmontosaurus spring a surprise? I mean, it certainly did in the first round. Surprise the Indosuchus with its fast start, but Indosuchus has fought his way back and oh, not a good start. This Edmontosaurus is also reform type as well. Okay, that's not too bad. Type advantage. Definitely spear an Indosuchus. Draw me your rush coming in here. But a strong start from Edmontosaurus yet again. Oh, he's going to the crypt! There are not no reform type this. Yeah, you can see the difference here. In the reform type, 
and non-reform. Ooh, and Dosuka's getting a much needed crit there to get back in this match. Mayfly has been triggered as well. Ooh, it's a tie. But Edmontosaurus still has the crucial lead. Another tie. Is it is Edmontosaurus gonna do it? Oh he might do it! Anything now will win it for Eddie. Oh, he's got it! Indosuchus, despite having a type of advantage, is gone! Well, that definitely changes things. Indosuchus probably my pick to do well in this tournament, given the matchups it, was good, it could have had. But it's in Montosaurus going through. And that is a, a shock to the system. Well then, on to our... Well, if you like grass dinosaurs, you're probably going to enjoy this video because in our final matchup and our concluding matchup of round one features yet two more grass dinosaurs. So let's get on with it. Right then, in the red corner, we have got Lanzusaurus. I think he... Yes, I think... What's interesting about Lanzusaurus is that unlike all the other dinosaurs that featured in season two, well, all the new, like, you know, some of them. Lanzusaurus didn't debut during the, during the Gekazan era. It's the only one out of, that, out of series two, other than Brontokins, to debut during the Kakashin era. Interesting. And there is another grass silk. Oh yeah, in the blue corner, we have Alpha Iguanodon. Will Alpha Iguanodon do well? We'll have to see, but yeah, back to Lanzusaurus. It actually would have they should really have debuted during the Gekazan era. And we'd have and we should have Pro Sorolophus for the Kakshin era. That's just my fault. Ooh. Ooh, it's Alpha Dart! Ooh, you know what time it is, folks. It's Alpha Dart time, it's Alpha Dart time. Let's spin that wheel of fortune and see what the dart lands on. Oh, it's the ball. Bonk. That'll give Lanzusaurus a headache, won't it? Ooh, another Alpha Dart! Good start from Alpha Iguanodon. Kind of a waste of his crit to give it Alpha Dart, to be honest, but oh well. I can't help if all the Alpha Dinosaurs in this tournament have Scissors crits, okay? Boom. Well, it's Alpha Iguanodon, though. Off to a strong start. Ooh, but Lanzusaurus onto him quickly. No crit this time. Oh, oh, Alpha Dart number three. Well, if you're a fan of the move Alpha Dart, you're enjoying this match thus far. Let's see what the Dart lands on this turn. Oh, it's the ball again. That won't be curtains for Lanzusaurus yet, but it will leave it on the brink of getting beaten. Okay, yeah, there it is. Softening beam coming up. Gonna... Well, I don't know what it does, it just analyzes it and makes it weaker in ties. Yeah. Well, Iguanodon quite dominant there. Getting the job done. Well, getting the lead anyway. It's not job done yet. It still needs to win one more match. Well, let's see if Lanzusaurus can show a bit more improvement in round two. Right, round two. Will Lanzusaurus put up more of a fight this time? Or will the Alpha Iguanodon continue to show its Alpha status? Get it? Because it's an Alpha Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, Lanzusaurus getting the first hit this time. Oh, we got Venom Fan. Pianitskisaurus making a return. Still bruised after his defeat to the Polar Campus. But coming in to assist the Lanzusaurus in poisoning the Iguanodon. But the Iguanodon responds with a softening beam. Gonna soften up that Lanzusaurus and make it more vulnerable to ties.
Oops, it's high. Oh, the Lanzusaurus gets the next hit. A two for a die. Pianixusaurus coming back yet again for another Venom Fang. Yum. Poisoning the Alpha Iguana. Oh, this is much better from the Lanzusaurus. Finally showcasing its might. But let's not count the Alpha Iguana Don out yet. It can. Okay, yeah, okay, no. I was gonna say it could still get an Alpha Dart and win, but Lanzusaurus gets off a Metal Wing. We're gonna have Pteranodons and Tutanforos coming in to finish off the Iguanodon. But that is much more like it from Lanzusaurus. Even in the score, and leaving it all down to this next deciding round. Right, let's go with that deciding round, shall we? Right then, our concluding round and fitting that we're in the meadow field, the terrain which favours the grass dinosaurs. Okie dokies, five. Ooh, a good start from the Lanzusaurus, landing the metal wing off the bat. Here come the Pteranodons. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh, look at the damage. Lanzusaurus, a strong start. But we have a tie. Well, the Lanzu... Okay, yeah, he's dead. Okay, he's definitely dead. And it's a Venom Fang as well. Wow, well, well, a poor first round from the Lanzusaurus, but he's made up for it here coming from behind to overpower the Alpha Iguanodon and advance to the next round. The Alpha Iguanodon, well, after a pretty good start, kind of just fell away. It just... It just... It, 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 I don't know, it just... It just didn't turn up. Alpha Iguanodon just really went missing in those two rounds, allowing Lanzusaurus to get through. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will conclude round one. So let's have a look at our matchups for round two and see where we are in this tournament. Well, I tell you what, we're in for some cracking matches in round two. Really enticing contests. Rugops going up against the Eoraptor. This is going to be a really interesting match. Brontekin's taking on Alberta Ceratops. Will Alberta Ceratops pull off another upset? He already knocked out Omega Eokark. He could do it again. The Orange Triceratops taking on Magna Crustatus. Clash of the Golds there. Alpha Suko and Augustinia going at it. Both off the back of dominant wins. Udanoceratops upsetting the Eocarcaria to get through. We'll probably have a tougher matchup against Polacanthus with Polacanthus dominating in, in its matchup. And it will have the type advantage over the Udanoceratops. So yeah, Polacanthus will probably fancy actually looking at this bracket. If Alberta Ceratops can somehow upset Brontekins, Polacanthus might actually have a really good chance of getting through to the final. Of course, I said that about Indosuchus, and Indosuchus lost the first round against the Edmontosaurus, who was very impressive. And Lanzusaurus, after a slow start, showed its might. So yeah, some interesting matches to look forward to in the quarterfinal round. Is your favourite still in the tournament? Do you think Brontekins will get to the final? Who will fall? Who will make it through in the quarterfinal round? You'll have to wait and see in the next video. And until then, thanks for watching, and this is Stranger Gamer, signing out. Mm -hmm.